Wazi, Ube Mnadi, Zonke Zinta Zibem Anzi, Homie, don't worry, hold up, no more gossip, gossip, getting all skinny, this is not the truth, so stop tuning in, you can't get can't on the gale, come, let's come down with the wild, social issues, they're so easily, giving you the latest news so instantly, agenda we tied up, keep the channel locked on, Zanzi Insider, San Bonani, Minanguro Risang, San Amgela Gula Shlelo, and you know my Zulu is getting better because I'm hanging out with K-A-Y, not K-A-T. Crush you. San Bonan, Sia Namugela, Ku, Lelu Shlelo. It's Isha Ilege, Impella Sol. Hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Nishia Sotel and Belinjan. Deb. How was your week, sir? No, that's not my language. That's not my language. How was your week? Welcome back. It's good to be back, man. Mm -hmm. I just got back from summer and I just landed back in winter. The shade that has been Ooh. thrown up in this place. Shout out to KZN. So, Kajana, we decided to do things a little bit different and put a bit of spice in it. That's why we're always reading the news here, okay? So, uh, we decided to switch it up. Okay, come on, being drastic and stuff, but it's fine. <laughs> And check it out. Mm, be careful what you post. Twitter went into chaos. It was shock and horror when Sundown soccer player Bongani Zungu posted a nude video of himself. Oh, wimma. Some tweets even speculated that he must have posted it by mistake. Mm -hmm. Like, it's bad. Like, really bad. Because now all of these social media platforms are... Wait for it. Private Shem. Another Facebook scam has popped up where people register with their email addresses in order to get access to the Ozalo auditions. Oh, uh, that's nice. Only that there is no such thing. There are no auditions on Ozalo. It's not safe in these streets no more. Now we know that this Kosa rapper is an academic as well and as seen in this part of the video. But it's not enough for the golden one day rapper. Now he's looking to pursue his PhD. Now would I be wrong to say that if he does, he would be the first rapper in South Africa with a PhD. Hmm, talk about levels. Now dare for the education. Oh, and congratulations to Miss South Africa and Dandu Yankosi Kunene who graduated with honors. Now on to serious news, our hearts and prayers go out to our friends in Zimbabwe where riots have broken out. We hope for a quick resolution and that peace will be restored. And he gets six years. What's your views? Hashtag Mzansi Insider. We want to hear. You gotta love how we're doping things up on Zanti Insider. Tell us what you thought on our social media stuff today. But now we're gonna get into something that's been rocking a lot of celebrities' worlds, causing drama. Ibi is a social media fraud. Lana ilaba bantu bata takona ma account, obe create takona ma account me zenzo saziwa, me ngabon, ogu zebeba kile nomba kutuz. Namtlanje so find out with how can we tackle or see where me le social media fraud. Sipin despe uti ba posa ziwa, kaba kile kile. Ba ba, oh my gosh, that sounded so cool. Sorry, I like Zulu. Let's get straight into sorts of social media. Don't touch the hair. Hashtag of social media is what we're using and running with uh, on social media. Rinale, a social media guru kapa yona hair media strategist. Mushtafa is what he calls it. No, Mustafa, get it right. Mushtafa. Now, let's about being a celebrity and a little bit of a to being exposed to schemes. And now I've laid trend in a Sekaria Bonahala on um, parody. I hope I said it right. Did I say it right, Kay? Parody. Parody accounts and false situations that are popping up everywhere. And a mehe on a little bit like Mirau Zangata and repercussions that people are facing. And tell me about that. How does this affect the celebrities? And to help us unpack and talk about this, Mushtafa, what it does. What's up? How are you? Wow, I love the energy. It's <laughs> like the language can, can, like Can Japanese. I say it one time as well? Uh, yeah, yeah. Mustafa. That's the one. Mustafa. This is the awkward. One. Okay. Sound like Mufasa. Do you guys want to do this without me? Yeah, yeah, I'm just a huge yeah. fan of like, How did Mustafa come about? <laughs> um, it's actually an evolution of my high school nickname. And people like, it evolved into this thing. And it actually means in Arabic, the chosen one. Oh, wow. there's actually like a, like a there's, real there's, thing. It's a real thing. It's a real thing. <laughs> it's a real okay, thing. cool. We were about just like, where is Mustafa? Let's talk about it. And uh, it, it's quite something that's coming up. I mean, coming to mind right now is Dobza Mumbata. Yes. And the latest scheme, you know, she apparently she had this page where people can come and pay a certain amount of money to be on a social soapy. Is this common? You, the thing is, it is common, Ngoba. 
Abandaba I think one of the things that people don't do well as, as uh, celebrities, you become a brand. Instantly when you have uh, some sort of value, yeah. ne? you should just like if you have a website, you, you basically reserve all the domains, you should do that. So even if you're not going to be on a particular platform, you must reserve the name. So Unam Zamo should have gone to Facebook, ne? reserve the name Unam Zamo Bata, get it verified by Facebook so that no one else can create that name. That's the first step. It's like a domain. That's why you'll never find like um, an Apple dot um, dot co dot za uh, being uh, being owned by someone else. It must be owned by the the the, the, old, the, the name company. Yeah. So when you are a brand, you must on all platforms basically reserve your name. That's the first step. But this tells is us common. Is that you just like open a Facebook page like everybody else, Twitter it's like nice. everybody else. You call people like me and we assist you with Come this stuff. Come on now, stuff. the girls in the hills. But <laughs> if fraud is is in Dongulu actually because. Yeah. Um, I know that there is a, a fake mini la mini page as well. And this person, you only realize that it's a fake page when you realize that there is no actual content. I'm a fault, don't you pay? It's just photos on this page. Oh. But what Lomdu is doing is taking e photos Zgamini from her Instagram page and reposting them on the Facebook page and then promoting the page. The page has got over a million uh, likes. Wow. And you That's would never crazy. realize, as Umuntu Nje just on Facebook, you would think that this is actually Umini. And it's, it's yeah. actually quite intense. You, you actually answered my question. When how do you know if your account is fake or not? Now you're speaking about the content. The e content when it comes to is in social media apart from me, Tom. The content is everything that is posted on your social media platform. So it could be a yeah. picture, it could be um, a video, it could be writing, it could be a screenshot of something, it could be a link to another social media page. Yeah. What a lot of um, companies do, especially Twitter and, and Facebook, they encourage people ne, to put AMA links to their official pages on their websites. What this does is that it authenticates you. So if I go to uh, rory.co.za, mm -hmm. I know that if I click on the link to your Twitter, it goes directly to your or to your authentic Twitter account. If yeah. I click on your Facebook, it does that. If I click on your Instagram, it does that. Yeah. All right. Like I mean, people have been using this fraud situation in different types of ways. Mm. Like one was with Nomza Mbata. Mm. Another with starting beef, where you know, just an angry fan will pick on another celebrity mm. under a false name. Is this also like something that we're seeing happening? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Funny enough. Example, yeah, can you lily pulan? Yeah, that, I was jumping onto that because it was so awkward. I read this thing, I think, I think except Sugu, and I was like, I saw this reply and I'm like, whoa, this is firstly I've been surprised that Ukanyu Pali essay. It was because there was an essay reply. Me yeah. <laughs> essay in Jay, like busy paragraph as it means. Yeah. I think I had to take a water break in between. Yeah. But I read this reply and I said, but wait. And the first thing is that when you know that there are these type of accounts out there, ne? the first thing I said was, is that the real account? That's the first thing I asked myself. Yeah. Is that the real account? And then I, I quickly did a quick search and I was like, no, but this account has absolutely nothing on it. So I knew that it wasn't a fake account, but I mean, someone like um, okay, you should have people that advise on this to say, listen, yeah. don't do this thing. But I mean, social media is just that. Yeah. It is spontaneous, it is instantaneous, and it's something that she was angry at that moment saying, how, oh, this girl. She probably sat down like, mm. Mm. <laughs> and it was awkward because yeah. it's not the real account. Now you've come out and said all of this stuff and it's not even the real account. Eish. Now it's like, okay, cool, you, you were touched by that. Yeah. You were Because look at it this way, as someone who is known by Abandu, people are always, but not cool, they're always going to be poking you, poking yes. you yeah. until you make a mistake. They want you to make a mistake. And I mean, yeah. Mama she actually had a good laugh at Okan. Yeah. Now, as, as That it was actually probably like an awkward moment. Oh, <laughs> for days. Like it wasn't For me. days. <laughs> but I mean, how could have Kanye handled the situation differently though? The first thing that you must do is, this is also what digital PR is. And this is one of the things that we- Digital, I'm them about. Digital PR. Digital, digital PR, digital. Yes, <laughs> useless. Yeah, useless. So, useless. so what actually happens is that you need to look after your image. Just like you look after your image normally on above the line media, you need to look after your digital public relations. It's it's so important. But look at Great Londo because in social and in digital, that is where your brand is expanded. So when Abantu, they see you on a show, they see, they say, mm, Yazin, you're great as an actor, you do all of these nice things, but they don't know who you really are. Yeah. Who you really are is what transpires on each digital platform, Zako. And that is so important to look after that as, as a brand in itself, because yeah. you can actually separate. I mean, when we tell brands, we say, you can separate in messaging Yako. Abantu will see you as, as, as an actor or as a performer and entertainer, but they can also see you as a normal person. When I segment, you can segment your mm -hmm. brand 
find yeah. on the different platforms. Yes. And then that is why you should look after it. And you should say, how do I want people on yeah. digital and social media to see me? Yeah. And then once you answer that, yeah. you'll be able to know. You know what I want to know? Because I think sometimes and what you're speaking to speaks to the celebrities and people who want to protect yes. their, their social platforms. What happens to those people who are, like the person who was Bulani? Yes. What happens to those type of people? What are the repercussions for them? You know what the thing is? Um, in South Africa, especially, we've got a very vibrant, um, and I call it black Twitter, but it includes Facebook, Instagram, and everything. We're very vibrant. Mm. Imagine that we are on a, what black social media is in this country, is that we're all on a, a street like us. Yeah. Everyone, everyone is looking over everyone's wall. Everyone yeah. is kind of looking what, what the neighbors <laughs> wow. do. Mainly, when and don't. Yeah. So that is how we are. Something will leak. You could be a normal person. And if something happens that sparks the interaction of a lot of people, yeah. you will become instantaneously famous. Mm. And so anyone could become famous. And there is a bad side of it, which was uh, the whole Pulani thing, but bad is where you look at it, because I think it was, it was a, 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 a great thing in the sense of the mass of number of followers that she got in, yeah. in two days was 40 something thousand, 48,000. So it, there's not what? many people that can get yeah. that. Yeah. There's, there's not many people. But that a lot of people say that's bad because of how she did it. I say, yeah. you've now got an audience. It's up to you to craft your way. Because what do you say now? You go on to her, you don't know. She could be selling you products. She could be selling you anything. So yeah. it depends how you look at it. I, I, I just don't, I, I personally don't think it's the right way to do it, even though it's 48,000 people. It is wrong, but right now, uh, but rather, thank you for coming it's and hanging with us. It's a pleasure. I'm willing to need any pictures for anyone. Don't I'm volunteering. Me. If should need be, just don't leak DM anything. or WhatsApp just and I'll leak. Why mistake? Be authentic and consistent with, with all of your messaging to Abanda Bagwazi. That's yeah, it. No. Split personality segmentation, <laughs> that's what he said. Segment all of that. We have a caller right now. Hello, Samantha. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? We are awesome. Do, do you have a protected social media platform? Uh, no, I'm not a celebrity. <laughs> ah, nice comeback. Touche, touche. What would you like us, or rather, who would you like to shout out and what song would you like us to play you, my love? Um, I'd like to say hi to all my friends mm -hmm. um, in PE. Shout out to PE. Yes. The best place in SA. Come on now. The friendly city. <laughs> the windy. And what's the song, Mala? It's for Nook Jive. Um, well, since Pastor Bay is in studio, I'd like him to choose a song for me. <laughs> Oh, oh wow. <laughs> wow! We see what's going on here, Samantha. All right. So, what song are you going to uh, pick? Since it's Lala Lana, go go go, Zans and see ninety percent. Bring to the city to cotton, city to cotton, cotton, city to cotton. So that means eat cotton. Well, no. We're eating cotton. Thank you so much, Samantha. We're going to play you your song Bye, as Sam, thank we you. eat the cotton with Ricky Rick. Keep the channel locked on Mzazi Insider. We're going to be here at Simzans Insider. My name is Lorisang Taniki. So I'm holding it down for you guys. We're talking fashion on fleek. We're looking out for all the yays and the nays. We're going to be slaying here like we always do. So I hope you're ready for some fun in Durban. About. Uh, the leader of the pack was a theme, so I decided to design something that's based off the King B look. So this is Bazaar, uh, Zama, and then my shoes obviously are from uh, Europa Art Shoes as always. And, she, and then she even made me this little stool just to be like, yo man, when it gets a bit cold, you got something to do. Designer Warehouse and I kind of sat down and discussed this dress. We wanted to go more like Cleopatra, you know, gladiator sort of, and that's what the theme is about. And I hope the outfit has come through with that. So let's talk about a little bit about the design, the idea behind it. What, what was it for you? Uh, to me, it was to capture the the spirit of the soldiers, like a captain of soldiers. Ah, okay. uh, so the name of the brand is called Myself by TD. Yes. Interesting name, take us through that. So Myself by TD is all about, I dress you. So if I ask you, what are you wearing? You say I'm wearing myself. Because I basically design what suits you. What 
what's your tip for everyone coming down? Sure. All right, so I, I don't know what's going to be in next year. Besides just looking at the theme itself, just dress very what you're comfortable with and not be afraid of looking amazing as well. So it's all about style. You kind of have to know what works for you. You're going to have so much fun. I don't even know what advice to give because they're going to have so much fun. I think it's just about be comfortable, as you said, because it's long hours. It's standing most of the time, you know, and it's about enjoying the horses as well. We've just seen that conglomerate won and it's all about that, the build up to that. So really it's about just having fun. So the advice is to be comfortable, be happy, because really Really, the Durban July is about all the fun. Depending on how early you're going to get here, just make sure you're comfortable. You're not going to be walking barefoot later. I've been in that situation. It's not worth it. Um, make sure you're not wearing a long dress and come with the right people to have fun no matter what type of situation you end up in. There you have it, it's Fashion on Fleek coming to you all the way from Durban. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And uh, it's not only about the celebrities and what they're wearing, we came to see what you, the insiders, rocked up for the Durban July, and boy, oh boy, did you slay. And I think I did a pretty good job. What do you think, Kay? Huh? So Tetsi, KL probably did best with me. Not probably, he did. We'll see you soon. He's our special somebody for today. I have known him for a couple of years. Um, most people know him as a politician, but they don't know that he's actually become a huge backbone to the entertainment industry in South Africa. I'm speaking about none other than Reginald Nkavindi. Your name is so powerful, it already like demands the governor. <laughs> How are you? No, I'm super fine, I can't complain. You know, you, you've like switched it up. You've had probably the most buzzing marquee in the Durban July for years now. And uh, Chris Brown, give us a breakdown. No, look, uh, I thought for us it's about time to change the game. We've been doing it for four years and we've said it's time maybe we must give uh, South Africans a different feel and look and the taste of things. And for us, look, we have respect and so much respect for this event. We've looked at it and we've taken it. Uh, our analysis tells us that it's one of the biggest events in Africa. Uh, and we, we felt and that it, it, would, it would be more important for us to give it a dignity that it deserves. I mean, Chris Breezy for us, it's more of a headliner, but beyond that, that's why we had to bring Tinashe, if Islam Village. And the theme around that was in relation to the 90% that South Africans are giving. And, and that was been pronounced by the SABC. We thought, look, let's create a field and a stage where we can create a level of competition, which is SA talent versus international, so that we showcase what we have. And part of it, uh, I don't want to speak more about what we, you know, about the bomb that we want to drop in the next few weeks and so on and so on. But look. There's a more bombs. I mean, it was Ricky Rick, it's Chris Breezy, it's probably the best marquee at the whole day in July. Uh, Come on, just give us a little bit of like a scoop. Just a taste is that uh, Chris Breezy and Du Bois, our current uh, and new signed hip hop artist, yeah. and we've taken a decision three years ago that it doesn't make sense. Look, if you have a situation where all of us can be able to spend millions in booking all international artists, and wake up today, you haven't had even one single artist in South Africa yeah. that is booked overseas with even a million rand. That says we're not yet in the game or we are not prepared to challenge it. And amongst other things, we decided, as Mabala knows, that when we sign a hip-hop artist, we are directly challenging the game. And it's, it is possible, we have seen it. your face because it's giving away a lot of things let me speak about this most of us like I said know you within the political space um, for many many years that you've done I want to speak to why entering into you in engineering construction so many things why entertainment for you look uh, you can for me I've realized that you can say so many things through music music speaks louder than me and you just sitting and talking yeah. Music is life. Beyond any other thing, I found passion in music. I find joy when I'm sitting in the studio. And, and part of it, it's, 
Look, one way or the other, people, they don't take this game. Whether music or beat entertainment, seriously. And you go all over around the world, you find serious businessmen who takes this industry serious because once you understand it better, it means you not only make money, but change the life of an African child in South Africa. And for me, it's about that. That's why I say we want to set a tone. But beyond any other thing, we want to be game changers, and we are game changers. That's what we believe. I think Furukuba signed to this label. Last one before we let you go. Uh, I had the opportunity of talking to you. How many boards are you on? How many companies are you running? Just a, a nice quick indication. Yeah. For, 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 me, <laughs> for me, the most important board is a political board yeah. that I'm part of. Yeah. Uh, and many of them, it's about two, three-ish. I can't count them. But like I said, the main focus now is that I've built a foundation on other spaces. Yeah. For me, the focus is on entertainment so that I'm able to rise and help an African child to rise and compete internationally. There you have it. His main mission is not just about the music, but it's also to give an opportunity to African children to be on stages around the world because we deserve it and we're just as good as everybody else, right? Thank you very much. It's Reggie, and he's hanging out with us right here on Zanti Inside. He gave us a scoop, but he doesn't know he gave us a scoop. German hitting style hard, representing fresh fashion on fleek. Wow, that is alliteration. We've got Joe Man Joe and Zubini Volta Volt in this Pala Pala St. Douglas. Precious. Keep the channel locked on Mzazi Insider. You know what it is, Mzazi Insider. We're back on Imzanti Insider, still smacking your face with breakfast show realness. No doubt, and today's show, uh, it's all about doing things differently. So we caught up with Joe Man at Metro to get the sports lowdown. It's finals weekend at Wimbledon, and there'll be a new champion on the men's side of the draw after world number one Novak Djokovic was knocked out of the tournament by American Sam Querrey. Now that snapped Djokovic's run of 30 games unbeaten in Grand Slams, and at the moment the Serbian holds all four Grand Slam titles, namely the Australian Open, the French Open, Wimbledon, and of course the US Open. Serena Williams also had an opportunity to win all four Grand Slam titles in one year, but she also stumbled last year as she lost out in the semi-finals of the US Open. This year, tennis players have got an extra opportunity to win a major trophy, with the Olympics taking place in Brazil next month. Andy Murray won the men's title at the London Olympics in 2012, and Serena Williams won the ladies' title, adding to America's gold tally. In other news, there's another final happening this weekend with Euro 2016 coming to an end tomorrow. France has done a great job hosting the tournament. The last time France hosted the tournament was in 1984 and they ended up winning. But the biggest story will be Iceland beating England in the round of 16. It was a humiliating loss for the English, but who can forget the celebration that the Icelandic players had with their fans after their greatest sporting moment in history for the tiny Nordic nation. Rilabula, holo Joe man for the sports. Make sure you catch Joe every weekday on the Drive Time Show, Kwana Hu Metro FM. It's Insta Fitness. Puto Kore Ken K. Do it. Let's go. My name is Pilari, founder of Body Level. Precious, well, yes. welcome. Yeah, so I'm going to go to the next one. What are you doing? Stretching. Oh, okay. Am I, I, thought, am I doing I, it correctly? I thought I'm the one coaching you. Am I doing yeah. it correctly? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Should we start? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. We're no. not dancing. This is not a dancing class. It's a... Okay, take the lead. All right. I need you to be in position. Which straight, one? straight. You're going to go down. Plank mode. Hurry up. You don't have all day. All right. Yes. Thank you. This is what you're going to do. We're going to work on our abs at home. And this you have to do for about 30 seconds. I'm all about convenience. You know it's winter, Miss, right? So we're going to count like literal 30 seconds. Are we just going to... You have to have a timer on. And we can do this. Hey, focus. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> and then you can do advanced. Okay. This is for your core, okay? All right. So you have to lift one leg. Siraz. Yes. Yay, yeah, cheers. For 15 seconds. Okay. 
Are you okay? <laughs> you Struggling. Look okay. <laughs> Struggling. No, you know, since we were working on your core, mm -hmm. I find that your core is the hardest thing to work and to develop, especially mm -hmm. if you want abs. What kind of diet must you, must you develop in order? What's it? Sibin, I'm an eight pack just button. No carbs. I know this is this is one of the most classic ways to to be on a diet. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> you feel it. Yeah, no, I'm feeling it. Okay, let's stand up. What, what exactly are carbs? I usually hear this no carbs thing, but I mean, I'm so. Uh, 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 no potatoes, no potatoes. Just take whole wheat bread, whole wheat spaghetti, no pap, <laughs> no rice, no white rice, brown rice, yes. You can substitute. But uh, you know what? Let's not get distracted by that. Let's that was lie the whole down. vision. Oh, distract. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now I need you to lie on your side. I want you to lift your leg like this. Yeah. And then afterwards, I need you to pull out, pull in. Chia. And you do this probably Chia. 20 times. Okay. This Chia. works This works for your thighs, your inner thighs. All right. Mm -hmm. You know you've got muscles. I had no idea. Yeah, I thought no, as much. And it also helps with your buttocks. Yes. Your glutes. Please, ladies, please. Eh? <laughs> So yeah, yes, you have to do this. All right. If you want those firm thighs and a, and a firm butt. Yeah. I think, and I, I then, think I'm pulling like a, ha a hamstring. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. As long as you're feeling it, pain is good, hey. And then, you know what? Mm. Change sides. So like, get flatel. It's okay. We're just training, hey. So tell me, like, do 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 fitness people like you? Also have people they follow on like social pages. Yes, 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 yes. You know, you have to keep up with the times, you know? Mm. So obviously you have to know who's doing what, what's new, what's trending. So social media plays a big role, hey? It's very important. So I, fo I follow mostly mainly South Africans, mm. like your Swatle. Swatle? Yes. You know her? Yes, very well. <laughs> She's from Etiwini, right? Yes, I can see. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough. Yes, please. Now we're going to do our calves. Calves. You ready? D. Mm -hmm. Wait. Potris. Did I say right? Yes, potris. Isuzu. Okay. Do what? Isuzu. Oh, okay. Come. I need you to just push it aside. Come here. Face me. Hold my hand, don't, don't be afraid. <laughs> I do. So I need you to go like this for 20 times. Okay. Do my, do my heels touch the yes, floor? Yes, yes. Six. You're a beginner, seven, so touch the floor. Oh, eight. No, I've got this. You got this? I'm advanced, mama. <laughs> upper, upper. 12. 16. You counting? Yeah, 17. No, it can't be 12. 18. 16. 19. 20. Woo! You feeling it? Yeah, no, the pen is real. We're not done yet, though. We're not done yet. We're going to do our burpees for a full workout, okay? Full body workout, yeah, okay? No. This is intense. This is some army-ish, I think. Military training. Yes, please. It's camp tapers. Please, mama, please All show right. us. So this is what you're going to do. Lift your hands up and then down. And then follow. Oh. You're not a student, you're not a good student, hey? I, 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 I was in the special class. Come back, you're not doing planks. And you have to do this for approximately 30 seconds. Let's see how fast you can go. Oh, you're actually good. <laughs> Ooh, you're better than me. <laughs> hey. Oh, wow. Oh, that was intense. Are you good? <laughs> that was intense. Thank you so much, Pressure, for the enjoy? workout. I'm going to go get myself a glass of water. <laughs> it's been real. Mom, you're amazing. Thank See you. See you, Keep the channel locked on Mzazi Insider. Welcome back, everybody. That's it, like I do. We raise the levels real high, Homes Anti Insider. Our special somebody is on another upper level today. Uh, actually, Mantuaka Kura, I never have people who describe the levels we're on today.
myself. Mm, baby, you're too much of your to come and check up with her on her boat chillers. This is what went down. <sighs> South Africa, wow. Um, I don't see this as me visiting because I just feel like it's like home to me. Um, the whole of Africa should be home to all of us. But um, we're in Durban right now. Um, this is my second time here. It's incredible. I love it. I love Cape Town. Yeah, the scenery, the history, um, and I love the people. They're very, very welcoming. Um, so yeah, I love it. And the artists are incredible, obviously, um, AKA Casper, um, um, Lyra. Um, and a guy that I'm really, really loving right now is MT. I think he's creating such a buzz and I love it. I love it when people come up and, and they create such noise and they live their dreams. So yeah, I'd love to work with any of those guys. People, this a new dimension. No, they tell yourself you better tune into this nation. I was in New York, um, very, very exciting time. I got to meet Jay-Z, um, and it was incredible, you know. Um, he has a vision for African music, and um, he wants to take it global, you know, and introduce it to a new audience. And I think this is an exciting time for all of us, all African artists, and, and I'm just honored and privileged to be part of um, that revolution that's about to happen. So um, just a dream come true to be able to sit in the same room and listen and absorb all the information and knowledge that he has was just God sent. Um, the biggest lesson I have learned truly is um, we are definitely influenced by America, um, R&B, hip hop, um, but they do it so well, but they can't do what we do. So the biggest lesson is to remain African. Even if we're influenced by hip hop, there's nothing wrong with it. R&B, I love R&B, but there's something about us that makes us different. There's no point in us going globally and trying to do what they do. We just end up being like them. We have to remain African. People, remember, Africa is the future. Remember I told you this is going to happen. Watch. <laughs> not doing when I'm not T.Y. Savage. First of all, the wig is off, eyelashes are off, nails are off. <laughs> I'm probably like breastfeeding my child somewhere. No, just kidding. But I love to be at home. I love to just, you know, watch TV. When you get to travel and do performances a lot, the little things really, really begin to matter. So just being at home watching TV is um, just heavenly to me right now. <laughs> my man crush is easy, my son. I mean, gosh, I crush on him all the time. Um, my woman crush, goodness. I'm gonna have to say Queen B, like Beyonce, cause she's, you know, I met Jay-Z, so hey, I just have to give her a shout out. Beyonce, if you're watching this, call me. We can work together. <laughs> Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Tiwa Savage, and you are watching the one and only Insancy Insider. You know where it is S A B C One.
wise man once said, "Uzo itola kanja nuchele kone." Ngenzi zinde kubenga like kaya ngati fanle keng ash. Hmm. So born, enva wekif. Keep the channel locked on Mzazi Insider. You know what it is, Mzazi Insider. This boy like a cafe, not some police in my cell. Oh, cool, me too. So I'm, I'm gonna leave it right there. <laughs> Let's do the right thing, though, and that is to get into our Zanzi top five. Did I do that right? And cool, me, I'm not doing it. Cool, me, so. Cool, whatever. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> Man, oh man, what a jump the 2016 Durban July was. Nerle da, we're not only guy. Kaskasa li on our fashion on fleek, so we're going to drop you some of our favorite marquees at the Durban July. Coming in at number five, it has to be the North Gods party. It was basically an all-white party in a tent, but it went down with performances from the Lairs and celebrities that were spotted there. We're talking about AKA Skanda Queen, New Age, Brisbane, Wins, and Lala, and Dash from Dream Team. Number four was the Global Events Marquee, which is notorious for being a jump. It was organized by Mabeleni and it was off the hook. It was packed as usual and we definitely liked the red theme that was right through the marquee and of course the beautiful transparent roof. Number three is the SABC Marquee, which featured the obvious SABC celebs, the Jenny D's of the world, Pearl Madea Dia and your girl B, and Lunga Tabalala, just for control. The beautiful deco and great vibes were the order of the day. Johnny at Deppin and not be at the Fact Durban Rocks Marquee, which was majorly lit. The whole crowd was shouting, Wololo, Wololo, ah, Wololo, till the early morning. It obviously featured the whole Afrotainment crew and the new chick on the block, Babes Wodumo. And at number one is the tent that was so jumped, so unlocked, so off the chain that even the president of the Republic of South Africa had to show his face. Turn up! The Mabala noise tent was the place to be. Everyone was there. Major League, DJs, Kanyimbao, Boiti, and many good-looking rich people. Oh, did I mention that Chris Brown and Tanasha even made an appearance? How nam futi bing lapo. This is the tent at the top of Amzansi Insider Top 5. Yet it didn't do. Yo, man, you gotta love our top five. Personally, one of my favorite features on the show. Kay, it's been so awesome hanging out with you. Have you had fun with us today? Yeah, man, I had an awesome time. I just hope Ababu Kaya had an awesome time watching me. I mean, watching us. Yeah, pretty selfish. Hey, don't you say? Don't you think? Tell us a little bit about Uzalo because we're all about the scoop. I want to say to Zulu, so singa lindelani. Well, good news again, Dela. It's a drama, so there's a lot of drama coming up. I suspect a. I think it's more routine. Oh wow! Uh, <laughs> I, I, I suspect a pregnancy coming on, or maybe mm. Ayanda is going to pregnant someone. Wow! Maybe, uh, maybe he's going to be in, get involved in another love triangle. Yeah. Um, 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 I am not always in shot, trouble, though. But I'm not like, just stay tuned. We definitely can expect a lot of drama on Uzalo, so make sure you don't miss out on any of the action. Gadi week days, Uzka Fed. Cat is back next week. I wanted to say, okay, so things are going back to normal. But because it's us, maybe not so normal. Well, I think we should support you. But I will be back next week. No, you're not back. No? No? Zala's waiting. Ayanda, do your thing. Let other children be strong and do their thing. But it's been great having you. So, like I was saw, I will forever think of you. Yes. Go yes. somewhere, yes. something. Yes. 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 We're back again next week. Better yet, tomorrow. <laughs> Doing our thing. I'm just so messing this up. But when I'm put on a Gidiana guy, Kim or not, and Cassidy Kenny is one. Okay. I have this brother who is asking me out. He's brave. Yo, I cannot deal. <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting down on one knee, because now I look like I'm proposing. <laughs> <laughs>
You heard it. Catch an all-new Mzansi Insider Saturdays and Sundays at 10 a.m. on SABC One.